Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha Shoftim. We're now in Elul. Shoftim always falls out in Elul. And we're getting ready for the longest possible years, uh, 385 days in 5779. We have a leap year next year. And uh, as we go into Parachah Pasakeh, we talk about certain exemptions of the Bnei Yisrael, that going out to war, certain people would not go out to war. And one of them is someone who uh, built the house and he did not inaugurate it. And Rashi says that all he will have so much sar because someone else might come that acher yatnachana that maybe another person will live in his house that he never gets to live in that he will be a lousy soldier. That's even worse than the fact that well. We shouldn't exempt him because he'll be upset. Maybe I'll die, but it's even worse that maybe I will have this house and someone else will get to it. Reb Leib Chaspin says that Hashem, the Torah, knows about uh, the person, how we think, and therefore it's even worse that someone else should get it than, uh, than the possibility that he might die or that uh, just he won't live in the house. But he turns it around and he says that it's even more important to take the lesson that how should we act? We should act about being with a different attitude. We should be saying that, well, if I can't get into that house, at least someone else should have some benefit of it. If we wouldn't be so selfish, we wouldn't be so upset, and we'd be happier. And that's a general rule in life, that we focus on other people and not just on ourselves. That's going to get rid of the de- jealousy, which creates its own agmas nefesh. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week, a wonderful Parsha. Feel free to share the Divrei Torah, comment, Dvarman too. Uh, at yahoo.com. Have a wonderful Shabbos.